Uh, safety. Safety is our priority. That's what you need. Safety is always our priority. Got to look around. Space management. Anything that's close to your bus in that four feet area is a hazard. Okay? The school crossing ahead. Anticipate. What kind of school zone crossing? Very good. Straight ahead. My staff and I recently met with the Commissioner's Vision Zero team to discuss our safety and training programs in buses. As a result of that meeting, there's a great deal of excitement surrounding the possibilities of sharing our experience with other agencies throughout the city. Hello, I'm Steve Vidal. I'm the Vice President of Transportation Safety and Training for the uh, Department of Buses at New York City Transit. Uh, we're here at the, our Zuriga Training Department uh, in the simulator room. And uh, I just want to talk about some of the things that we're doing here to address what's on everybody's mind is uh, Vision Zero, the mayor's new initiative to eliminate pedestrian fatalities and and or accidents um, and there's a, a good story to tell about the things that we're doing here to assist in, in achieving that goal on the part of the entire city. You got a lot of roadway here. Now cut your wheel to your left. Nice and easy. Don't oversteer it. Take a look at your right. Take a look at your pivot. Once you clear you can go out straight. Straight ahead. Look for your pivot. Look to your right. Always constantly looking until you clear it. Over here. Look at this turn. That's a hazard right there. Roadway over here is like if you're going straight. From the New York City Transit standpoint, we've got a series of programs in place where we train our operators to a very high standard. Uh, we hold them to that standard throughout their career. We monitor them very closely in their uh, in all of their activities through a variety of methods, including analyzing all of their accidents on an per incident basis and doing follow-up undercover rides um, on our operators and just in general ensuring that they're operating the way that we want them to uh, and the way that they've been trained to operate. I have been a bus operator, I'm in my 12th year, and I drive the M79. Right behind you, you have the simulator, which shows day-to-day -day operations and real-life situations of a bus operator. It demonstrates pedestrians crossing vehicles, crossing your path, real-life situations, traffic situations. Whatever you see here is what you see outside in the real world when you're driving a real bus. We have hundreds of operators cycling through the training center on a weekly basis. And the message to them, as well as to every student that walks through the door as a brand new hire, is that we want them to provide safe, reliable service to the riding public. Not only that, we want them to provide the same kind of service to their, every one of their passengers that they would want for their mother, their grandmother, or their child to have. And if, if we can inculcate that, message throughout our organization that everybody is driving a member of their family. I think the whole city should be comfortable knowing that they're going to get a safe ride when they get on one of our buses.